common sense gun control looks like making sure that the NRA and gun manufacturers are held accountable. Um, you know, you have David Perdue, who has an A-plus rating from the NRA. Whenever a civilian can go out and purchase an AR-15 or AK-47 and go out and shoot up, you know, school, mall, there's no common sense gun legislation. We need a senator who will fight to ensure that bulk stocks are banned. Uh, we need a senator who will ensure that comprehensive gun legislation will pass from a bipartisan level and make sure that the public knows that we're not, as Democrats, trying to take away their guns. 15. We're trying to keep the guns out of the hands of those mentally uh, unstable uh, or unstable people. All right. Is that the end? Okay. Yes. All right. James Knox, you wanted to uh, do a rebuttal. Yes. Um, when we talk about responsible gun ownership, I served. And I, sp I had an opportunity to speak to a small group of individuals um, in Kennesaw, Georgia. And uh, one of the people talked about, as a Democrat, how I was going to take away their, their weapons. At that meeting, I explained to them that I travel. I, I, I'm a firm supporter of the Second Amendment. I have a weapon when I travel. But I don't believe you need a 100-round or 50-round magazine to if, if you want to have an assault weapon. So... If you say if you say that you're an enthusiast of sports, and I'll tell you this, if you need 100 rounds, you need to get better at your sport. So we need to reduce that to a responsible level. If you have high power weapons that can do incredible damage, we need to we need to restrict those magazines capacity in terms of what um, Mr. DeJesus was saying. We have to restrict those capacities to 10 to 50 to six to 10 rounds that if you want it to be a sport, you keep it on a sport. If you can't kill what you're shooting at in six to 10 rounds, you probably need to find something else to do. All right, thank you. Maya and Dillard Smith. Please. I'm the only individual uh, in this race who's actually dealt firsthand with gun violence. I know what it is to be both a perpetrator and a victim. I spent 20 years devising violence prevention and gun safety rules and regulations. And I can tell you this, we need a United States Center that, that is up for the fight for responsible gun ownership. As a head of the ACLU and a defender of the Bill of Rights, I believe fully in the right, Second Amendment right 15. to bear arms for the militia purposes of confronting a corrupt government. When we have police that are shooting black and brown men, we need the opportunity to defend ourselves and not in opposition to the police, but certainly in defense of our dominions, of our homes, of our families, of our children. Thank you very and much. Certainly COVID is presenting issues and opportunities around racial Thank profiling you. and police accountability.